Hey guys, Double Wide Six. I was having some issues with my heat pump, and uh, I did a little bit of troubleshooting, and I found out um, I had a bad fan. If you listen, there's some wobble in here side to side, and that means that either the shaft or the bearings are worn. I already went through and replaced this motor, but uh, I was thinking that I'll take a look at the old motor and we'll see if we can put some bearings in this so that we have a second motor on hand. It's usually not too hard to do this type of repair. Also, if you're a homeowner, you won't be able to buy this part from an HVAC store. So you might be lucky and get it from Amazon. Um, the other place that will allow the general public to buy it would be Granger. So uh, that's where I actually ended up getting my replacement motor. I couldn't find the same specs as this Emerson. So the issue with this motor was that it was just humming. The motor wouldn't kick on. It was getting real hot. It wasn't turning and just making a hum. Uh, initially, I thought it would be the capacitor. I tested the capacitor and the capacitor was fine. So, uh, you know, that, that's when I started digging into this thing and I, I tested the leads it had 240 volts and it was just humming so uh, I knew it was jammed up and uh, like I said I found that wobble in it but I'm gonna check the condition of the motor itself before I go and do the bearing repair so I'm just gonna strip these leads quick run an ohm test and see if these windings add up things so I'm setting my meter to ohms and black to brown I'm getting 0 0.053 so I'll just write that down 0 0.053 and now I'm gonna do black to purple Point oh two oh and now I'm going to do brown to purple. Point oh seven one. So you add those together. 3, 7, 0, 7, 3, and what did I have? 0, 7, 1. So it all adds up. So we're ready to go. We can uh, go ahead and test this or uh, pull the bearings out of this thing. Okay, we're just going to loosen these up. Got to get a quarter inch just gonna Mark the case. And we're going to try and tap this apart. Just using an old chisel. Alright, that's that side. 
just try and get the other side here. Came apart pretty easily. I'm going to sand the shaft so I can get that off. So to clean this up, I can actually slip this out. And I'm just going to run this rust a little bit on a wire wheel. Okay, I went ahead and brushed this off so that it'll slip off. Um, I also cleaned up the back. And what I noticed here is... Uh, there is a ton of wear on here and this shaft is uh, too far gone so it's really not worth putting bearings in this thing because uh, it must have been spinning on the inner race which was frozen there's really deep grooving here and it's uh, actually not worth uh, replacing but uh, I will show you guys in here um, this looks uh, in really bad shape I'm assuming there is a bearing in here and I see there's this cover plate so I'm gonna try and tap that off and we're gonna get a look in there and see if there actually is a bearing or if it's just like some sort of bushing material so I put this motor end up it's just resting on my vise here and I'm gonna try and pop off this thing from the inside see if that plate will loosen up looks like it will and we're gonna take a look in here and see if uh, there's actually a bearing in here here's a look at the inside here this white material I believe holds oil I believe I thought it was like a felt material uh, probably what I would do is just get rid of this and put grease in there if I was replacing the bearings so I'm just gonna scrape that out of there and I want to see what the uh, bearing looks like yeah this is all a material that holds oil it looks like guess you could keep this stuff and pack it back in there it definitely has some oil in it I can feel it so you know at first I thought it was wet from rain but uh, it's definitely some oil Yeah, the oil goes into this cap here and keeps the bearing cool, looks like. So you can either keep this, pack it back in, maybe mix a little oil with it so it sticks together. And there's this inner cap I'm going to try and pop off. Looks like it's moving. And... Oh yeah, see that's really packed in there. Yeah, I would keep all this stuff and pack it back in there if I were redoing this one. Little clip here. There we go. So, this is a look at the bearing. And I thought it would be a ball bearing, but uh, it's actually, you know, just like a bushing. And it appears to be steel. I wonder, yeah, it's definitely steel. I wonder uh, why they don't make it out of brass. But actually, 
Yeah, that looks a little bit worn out in there. I don't know, it's probably out of round. I'm going to clean it up and take a look at it. Here's a look at the bushing. It's a half inch opening and it's one inch OD and it's a little wider than half inch this way and it's slightly rounded over. I don't know if you could buy a replacement part for this thing or not. Um, but like I said, this shaft is so scored up and so is the inside of this bushing that uh you know it doesn't look like it would be something that could be repaired from what i see so i'm going to stop right here on this and uh, down in the description i'll post whether or not you can order a bushing because i'm not even sure but i'm going to try and look this up just out of curiosity um, by the way the the front bushing uh, should be replaced as well. There's really really slight wobble in there um, These motors don't really matter if they have end play. So if it went in or out Which this one Didn't when it was in the motor that wouldn't really affect anything. It's just that side-to-side -side wobble will make a lot of noise All right, well, thanks for watching guys and uh, let me know if you've ever replace a condenser fan motor or tried to rebuild one but from the looks of things this doesn't appear to be rebuildable take care